that six figure stuff. Like that's famous, you know what I mean? But I feel like I'm happy with what it has. I don't, the, the goal was never to be here. So my roommate block last year was obsessed with the app. Like they would make TikToks all the time, do all the dances. And I don't think I had it until like March. I didn't start making these stuff until about like June or July. But they were like, you know, like they all had this app. I was like, you know, let me get the app. I first downloaded it actually like, I think partway through first semester last year. Um, at that point, I, w I didn't really have any intention of doing anything on it. I actually downloaded it so I could make one video of an idea that I had, which isn't on my page anymore because it was, uh, it got copyright strike. It's kind of a funny story. So I first created it when I got here last summer um, in like 2019. And my coaches like didn't really want me on it then because they were like, what is this app? Like, oh, like it looks like only like younger kids <laughs> use it. And um, like nobody really knew what TikTok was. And I was like, oh, well, like people are just like blowing up on it. And like, it seems like a really good opportunity to like market yourself and market um your brand as you probably saw i'm a cosplay tiktoker and a lot of my friends i did an instagram for a while a lot of my friends had been moving over to the app because it was just fun to like make content on there too and eventually i was like why not join the bandwagon so i downloaded it and i had it for a little while but i didn't really start posting for a few months because i didn't really know what to post i mainly just created it because some of my friends had the app and i figured that i probably could probably get it and just join them on it um i also saw it as like kind of up and coming, so maybe there'd be some good content on there. I, the ones that go on big are the ones that I don't expect to become viral. The ones that the ones I put work into and I put heart up into, nothing. The ones that are just like, haha, here's a stupid thing. Everyone's like, wow, this is the one. 800K views right now. I don't know what this is about it. Um, my most popular one is what I did. Uh, okay, so I have like a Tinder, obviously. Everyone has a Tinder. And men are bad at talking to me. I think men are talking to everyone. They're really, really bad at it. So I think I'll just send it to you as well so you can just like watch it yourself. It has like Andrew K. If you think about the top of this sound weirdly enough. I've had some serious videos I put a lot of time into just not do well. And then I've had some joke videos that do really well. And I'm like, okay, so what do you want from me? <laughs> On my most popular one, I forgot the amount, exact amount of likes, but it was like around 16, 17K. It was, uh -huh. I was in, I was cosplaying a character from a video game. Um, the character is Kirumi Tojo from New Danganronpa V3. And I was trying to make a joke video, but I proceeded to screw up because I had like a spray. And the joke was I sprayed towards the camera, but I sprayed it in my face and screamed. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. It's only like, I don't know. I didn't think the alcohol would like it that much. So I posted, I was like, haha, this is funny. And then I woke up the next, I literally, I don't have a lot of for the app. So I woke up the next morning and there's like a little 99 plus thing. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I opened it and it's just TikTok. And I'm like, and I had like 400K views in that time period. So I just looked at it and I said, okay. And I leave it alone. And I left it alone. Really surprised. I remember I uploaded it, I think like a day before New Year's. And I was at my friend's house and I was like, yo, why is this blowing up? And I was showing it to her and we were laughing at it because it was so bizarre to us that this was blowing up. A viral video really just caught me by surprise and really caught me off guard because I didn't, I didn't expect it because I didn't have that kind of fame before. Because we just got back recently, no, but I have heard stories people telling other people, they're like, oh, I saw that girl from TikTok, I've seen her TikTok before. Like I have a friend here who's like, oh, my friend saw your TikTok and was like, Oh, you know her? Yeah, a couple of people actually. It's kind of funny. Um, one girl the other day like asked to take a picture of me, which was kind of funny. I was like, I'm not that famous of a TikToker, but <laughs> thank you. Okay, no problem. I will say that I did have one person or like a few people where I'll give my um, cosplay or TikTok to them and they're like, I follow you. And I'm like, you what? He didn't, he didn't really care about the whole like, I don't think he really pushed this idea that like, we shouldn't have people who aren't American having our data. Well, he doesn't really care about that. He just cares about who's making money off of it. I feel like putting such a focus on TikTok over other prevalent issues says a lot about like his priorities. So, um, you know, there's definitely some mixed feelings about it. I could definitely see why there's concerns about its ties to China. Um, but also at the same time, um, I kind of felt like he was just trying to get TikTok into America the whole time, if that makes sense. I made a joke video on that because I was supposed to get a new phone like Monday. 
after Trump banned the app. So I was like, see you later, guys, or something like that. I was like, bye. <laughs> Uh, I hadn't done a ton of research on um, the president's executive order to, um, I think, shut down TikTok in the U.S. Um, but from what I knew, I was a, I was a bit sad. Um, I was shadow banned for a long time. So again, I talk about politics a lot, and that's you get shadow banned on TikTok. I talk about politics, but it doesn't stop me because I really don't care that much. So I just talk about politics a lot. I feel like the algorithm is like really like talk about politics, drop your views, show your boobs, drop your views, talk about politics, drop your views. So like it's really like one of those weird things. That's that's the one thing that is a little like sucks about TikTok is it's pretty materialistic at times and kind of. Um, and like they care a lot about people's looks. I will admit there has been some very interesting TikTok drama I've seen that have made me just go, I'm going to take a break from this app, but I really do enjoy it. My TikTok, a lot of the good ones are not age appropriate. The ones that I'm like, where I talk about politics, they get like 500 views. And the ones where I'm like, look what this person said to me. Everyone's like, here, here's the attention. I don't know how it works that way. If you post a popular one, what's going to make someone follow you is like if they see that you post other stuff that they enjoy. Invest in taking care of yourself like a couple decent outfits you don't need a lot comedy always seems to do a bit better for me than like any other any serious stuff because i'm very artsy i'll admit but comedy is always what seems to get me the most likes and views anyone can really become famous i think on tiktok it just depends on the algorithm be yourself <laughs> Like those weird experiences you have that you just think that you think only you experience, somebody else is experiencing them. 